Utilizing keywords with photos can make locating certain photos later on much easier. Keywords can be added to any photo from the info window. It's also possible to select multiple photos at once and apply a keyword or keywords to all of them. So for this image, I'm going to enter the keyword waterfall. This is a new keyword that I'm creating here from the info window. Next, I'm going to select all four of these images and add the keyword National Park. Notice with this one that as I begin typing, the keyword autofills for me. This is because National Park is already saved as a keyword. That brings us to the Keyword Manager, which can be opened from the Window menu or with the shortcut Command-K. In here, we can see all the keywords that are currently in use in this library. If I select an image that has a keyword applied, that keyword is going to be highlighted over in the Keyword Manager. Click the Edit Keywords button here to add or remove keywords. I'll click the Add button here and create the new keyword Paxson, which is the name of my dog that you'll see in some of these images. After I add the name, notice that over to the right a shortcut is added, which is just the letter P. If I click OK, the Paxson keyword is listed at the top of the window in the Favorite section of the Keyword Manager. Favorite keywords all have shortcuts associated with them, which means that when I want to add the keyword to a photo, all I need to do is press the associated key when viewing the image, as long as the Keyword Manager window is open. If I add any of the other current keywords to the Favorite section, they're automatically given a shortcut key. Remember, these shortcuts can be edited or removed in the Edit Keywords panel. With an image selected and the Keyword Manager window open, just click the keyword that you want to add to the photo. Now let's open this image full size, and I'm going to apply a keyword using its shortcut. To add the Paxson keyword, I just need to press P while the Keyword Manager is open. If I close the Keyword Manager window, the P shortcut doesn't work. Hitting the shortcut again will remove the keyword. This process makes it really easy to move through images quickly and apply keywords. Another thing that I like to do with keywords is add a star rating system for photos. This is a feature that iPhoto and Aperture used to have, but Photos only uses the Favorites feature. If you've imported an Aperture or iPhoto library to Photos, star ratings from those apps will become keywords. So you might already see the star rating keywords in your library. I'm going to build this one from scratch, though. So I'll add 1 star through 5 star as keywords, and each of those will get a shortcut, 1 to 5. Now I can select one or multiple images and quickly give them a rating with a single keystroke. Once you apply keywords to images, it's really easy to locate those photos from the search field here. I'll enter Paxson and this pop-up tells me that that's a keyword, and it also lists how many photos have that keyword. Click to view all those images. You can even do a search for multiple keywords. I'll try Four Star and National Park, which gives me the photos with both of those keywords applied. Utilizing keywords is one of the best ways in photos to keep your library organized and easily searchable. We'll look more at search coming up later.